Hello, hi, what's up everyone? It's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber, and today I thought I would do the the A to Z hot or not book tag. I think it seems like fun, so let's just dive right into it. I've not really looked too deeply into the list because I didn't want to have preconceived notions about certain ideas. I want this to be rapid fire, and let's start now. The first letter we got in the alphabet is A, and that is A for audiobooks, and I would have to say hot. I enjoy a good audiobook, especially for nonfiction. I've not really gotten around to very many fiction audiobooks, but yeah, hot. Number B. <laughs> B, we have Buildings Roman, dealing with a person's formative years or spiritual education. I would have to say this is a not for me. I don't think I've read very many of them, or if I have, they've not really stuck in my brain too much. I would have to say that of the fiction that I like, I like things that are shorter intense they could cover like a day or a lunch something like that very like short tight constraint i don't need formative years at all c children's books hot i think sometimes if you go into a bookstore and you just check out the children's section and you maybe read one picture book while you're there they're really endearing and i think it's so exciting to see what books are out there for kids and that these books are there for them in their formative years and i find that to be really endearing so i'm there for it d digital I'd have to say not, even though I will read a digital book on my Kindle, shout out my Kindle, but the problem is it's not entirely an enjoyable experience. I love the materiality of a physical book. E, experimental. I would say it is hot, but sometimes can be try hard. I will not be explaining further. F is fantasy, that's hot. I'm not gonna lie, I do read a decent amount of fantasy books and I would say this year, despite somehow, without even meaning to, fantasy has become, I think, my second most read genre, which it was not in the prior two years. G, graphic novel. I'm gonna say not, only because I personally think I've only read one in the entirety of my reading career, but this isn't to say that I think that if you read them, you're not hot. It's just for me personally, my reading taste, I'm not reading them. Then we have H for horror, also not hot, not really something I'm into. I for inspirational, hot. <laughs> Only because sometimes reading a self-help book every now and then, even though I did go through a phase where I read a lot, so I really got tired out on the genre, if you would, sometimes they're really interesting. And I do think that they, that they have a sway on our society in a very um, peculiar way. J, journalism not hot <laughs> um yeah i did however have to say that the shah of shahs is that what the book is called shah of shahs which i read earlier in the year i think in february which is um journalism but very sensationalized you know editorialized journalism really enjoyable i like more of that k for kitsch has a popular is sentimental appeal Hot, why not? I, you know, once every now and then you need something like that. L for library, definitely hot, always been hot. M for mystery, not hot, just really, I don't think I read a lot of mystery books. N for nonfiction, always hot, so hot, the hottest, can't stop, won't stop. O for omnibus, I don't really know what that means. Is that a kind of book, right? Oh, okay, so an omnibus, for those who don't know, like me, it's a book containing multiple creative works by the same author, commonly having two or more works in there. I would say not hot because I didn't know what that was. P for poetry, not hot. I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> um, only just because I think there's so much out there and it's so varied and it can really t depend on your taste and your preferences and not all poems hit you really need to be in the right mood for them so very controversial just gonna say not hot sorry <laughs> cue for quest when the protagonist goes on a quest physical or spiritual i love that that's for me 100 percent. probably why i read a lot of fan have read a lot of fantasy books i'm down for a quest every day is a quest in my life r is for romance it's hot. What can I say? It's romance. Obviously, it's going to be hot. I also think reading a romance book once or twice a year, do it. Why not? It's so much fun, especially around the holidays. I think if you can find a holiday-inspired romance book, that's really like the sweet spot. That's perfect. Next up, we have S for science fiction. I'm going to say not hot because personally, I'm just a fantasy girl. I don't really gravitate towards sci-fi all that much, even though 
I think you can make the case that they're kind of like the same, right? They're not that different. It's just the, the mechanics of the world are either geared by science or magic. And isn't that just one and the same? Next up, we have T for translation. I'm down. I'm always down. Next up, we have U, and for the letter U, we have Ubermensch. This is the Superman or the Extraordinary Human, characters who can do everything. I'm okay with this. I'll say it's hot. Next up, we have Victorian, literature from 1837 to 1901. I don't think I happen to read a lot of literature from this time period, so I'm going to say not hot. W for Western. I don't read a lot of this, so I'm going to say... I'm going to give it... I'm going to say it's hot, though, because I understand... The appeal is just not something I've gravitated towards. Now we have X for X-rated, naturally is always going to be hot. Then we have Y for YA, and though I have read a decent amount of YA, I'm just going to say it's not hot. It's not. And then we have Z for Zeitgeist, spirit or mood of the times. Um, This is a curious one. I think it's interesting to read things that were the zeitgeist like back in the day and isn't anymore. So I'll say it's hot, whatever, we're done. That's it. Um, why is it that these tags take me like seven minutes and then other people post videos for this and it's like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. This to me is rapid fire. You got to move through it fast. If you enjoyed this, drop a comment, let me know. Or if you really enjoyed it, make your own video of the tag. This is the A to Z hot or not tag. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And with that, I will see you in the next video.